Now, the most common type of primary cell in use is the Leclerc cell. In its wet form, it consists of a glass jar containing a saturated solution of sal ammoniac, that is ammonium chloride, as the electrolyte, a zinc rod as the negative electrode, and a plate of carbon as the positive electrode. A mixture of manganese dioxide and powdered carbon is pressed around the carbon rod and then enclosed in a porous pot, which the solution can soak through. The manganese dioxide acts as the depolarizer, while the powdered carbon gives greater conductivity. Now, the EMF of the Leclerc cell is 1.4, 1.5 volts, and the internal resistance of a normal size cell is 1 ohm. The wet cells are now going obsolete. They were once majorly used to supply power to landline telephone installations in remote areas. Now, a dry cell is a type of electric battery commonly used for portable electrical devices. It was developed in 1886 by the German scientist Karl Gassner after the development of wet zinc carbon batteries by Georges Leclanche in the 1866s. The modern version was developed by Japanese Sakisoyai in 1887. Now, a dry cell uses a paste electrolyte with only enough moisture to allow current to flow. Unlike a wet cell, a dry cell can operate in any orientation without spilling as it contains no free liquid, making it suitable for portable equipment. By comparison, the first wet cell were typically fragile glass containers with lead rods hanging from open top and needed careful handling to avoid spillage. Lead acid batteries did not achieve the safety and portability of the dry cell until the development of the gel battery. Now, wet cells have continued to be used for eye drain applications such as starting internal combustion engines because inhibiting the electrolyte flow tends to reduce the current capability. Now, a common dry cell is the zinc carbon cell, sometimes called the dry Leclerc cell, with a nominal voltage of 1.5 volts the same as the alkaline cell, since both use the same zinc manganese dioxide combination. Now in this lesson, we have learned about the wet and the dry Leclerc cells. I'm sure you enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you in the next one.